Okay, here we are, one day prior to pour. Just checking everything out carefully here. A lot of details on this job. 10 inch Eudura. Transitioning to 8 inch four story building. Very unfortunate, but we had to put the steel on before the pour, unlike typical embeds before we can put the steel in. Before pour. Should be about 220 yards. Okay, we are about to start our first truck of many. Uh, truck number one. It is, it's about 8.45 a.m. Pump operators on the scaffolding. Eight forty five AM. Here it comes. All the items are checked off. I had a list over here to cover a few things just in case. We got we need to station our stub stub outs for them. Number four and number five stub out still, but we got all day to do that. Here it comes. Truck number one. Ten inch wall. Okay, we got our vibrator ready. And ten, truck number one underway. Okay, here we are. Truck number two. Here, there is the vibrating. We are about, it took us about 15 minutes to get through the first row. Okay, truck number two. Truck number two. Truck number three starts We got three vibrators going. Truck number three. Truck number three. Truck number four. This is the fireplace, and the um, the second or the second floor slab will actually across this and we'll go up again. This is only a clean out for the fireplace, which starts on the next floor. There's our pump truck. Okay, starting truck number five. We're on the north east side of the building now. And there's our 
superintendent. Truck number five. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Okay, truck number five. About to start this back room with uh, beam. Two foot tall concrete beam. I can show you what it looks like inside. Try to score the other one. Okay, we're at truck number six now. About to start some of this outside brick ledge. We've got several levels of brick ledge. We're going to be pouring about one or two inches into this top block. That's why there's no steel in it. Truck number six. Okay, it's 10:42. We're about to start truck seven, so we're a little bit behind. We had one truck delay, and one one load got a little hot. We had to add a little bit of water. Um, this part of the pour is going to be on Monday, two days away. So we won't pour this particular part today. We're going to pour to the windows, um, bottom of the windows only on this particular part of the pour. Truck number seven. Truck number eight. Um, we had to stop because we had one of the outriggers come up. Uh, back outriggers came up a couple inches, so we're shifting weight to the front here to stabilize this pump truck. Truck number eight. Okay, we're starting nine. We're in our second pass. And we're going about four feet up again. We're gonna fill these brick ledges here on this pass. This steel is in here for a retaining wall. It hasn't been started yet. You can see this concrete beginning to fill the brick ledge pocket. I'm going to have to vibrate it a little bit to get it to come down. Truck number nine. Truck number nine. Still, this is truck number 10. Truck number 10 right here. Truck number 10. It's almost one o'clock. We had to wait about 15 minutes for truck 11. This is truck 11. We are underway, probably about halfway done, perhaps a little bit more than halfway done. Truck 11, truck 13 just backed up. This is the end of truck, truck 12. Truck number 14, 140 yards. Uh, we're about three yards into it or so. Um, 10 inch new Dura block. Transitioning to eight inch at, at the course, the top course you see. We are about uh, two thirds of the way done. Um, a little bit behind. I planned uh, 15 minute trucks and we're closer to 20, but we're in good shape. 140 yards at this point. Uh, this is Cameron again. We are starting on truck 15. Right now, 150 yards. Um, these beams 
I'm going to be poured, um, let's see what's today, Wednesday. We'll pour these on Monday um, and this porch as well. You can see that they intersect the wall. We're not pouring that high today on this front, on this radius. This is actually the back. 150 yards, truck number 15. It's about 2.15 in the afternoon. Signing out. Still on truck 15. Wanted to show you these columns. I poured a few days ago. Actually, it's been about 15 days, I guess. Now starting truck 16. Truck 16 underway. Here's an example of the steel. Steel with Nelson studs in it. Some of them weigh 1,500 pounds. Had to put those all in before the pour just because a different approach was used to design the embeds. Not, not a recommended approach. Anyway. Um, Starting truck 16 right now. There's four of those larger embeds as well. Truck 16. It's truck 16 continued. Just vibrated this lintel pretty hard. Had to drop the stinger all the way down in that thing to get the concrete in it. Hundred and seventy yards. Hundred and seventy yards. At a hundred and eighty yards, uh, it's about three thirty, right? Maybe three forty five. So it's been a long day. But uh, all is well in New Jura land. Got uh, this is our 12 foot three height here for this little outcropping building here. 180 yards. It's truck 19. Truck 19. Okay. Here we are about halfway through truck 20 at 200 yards. Um, getting, making the last pass on these beams. That's 15 and a quarter inch wide by two feet tall at the top of the wall. Try to make things interesting. Truck number 20. One more truck is planned at this point for 210. Okay, 210 yards. Last truck. Last truck. It's 5.30 p.m. 210 yards. day after the pour. It's towards the end of the day. Uh, still cleaning up a bit. Uh, leaving the braces up another day. Taking off most of the wood and whatnot. This is the day after the pour. About to pour that radius on Tuesday, day after tomorrow. Murray, this is Cameron. This is the job I was talking about. This is that uh, 15 and a quarter inch beam by two feet that's on the top of the wall. Uh, this was poured day before yesterday. This center section here 
is the uh, fireplace and it's it's a full ICF box you can't see the other half from there but um, over on the other side you see another one of those boxes that like the one over there on the other end and there's radius on the on the back side of the building with uh, concrete beams being poured into the wall that one section is being poured tomorrow um, the rest of the building uh, has been poured so there you have it we could do we could do the, the uh, elevator but I'm thinking now well this this ele uh, this fireplace goes up three more stories I'm thinking about doing what we discussed yesterday with the one-sided block from this floor this elevation here uh, on up with the uh, one-sided block for the fireplace only so this is the job I was talking about